it's about time we uh, <laughs> made this commitment. We, uh, 49 in August. 53 years. 53 years and hopefully going strong. Yeah. 51 years. years. 25 years. Almost 25 years. How long have we been married? 10 months. Months. Perfect. But we've known each other for seven years. 27 years. Going on two months. Yes. Going on two months. <laughs> The way he breathes. <laughs> that, not mine. <laughs> Other couples. <laughs> remotes. We're TV remotes. We're constantly, you know, which one do I use to do what? <laughs> <laughs> and he gets frustrated because I don't remember. <laughs> Toilet paper. Keeping the coffee pod in the maker once you're finished. And the keys up when you're done. No. Dishes. Parking spots, speed limits. <laughs> Where to eat for dinner? <laughs> Communication. Definitely when the other person leaves their shoes in the middle of the hallway. Is that me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that sounds about right. Devalued. Disrespected. Dismissed. Controlled. I feel angry when <laughs> she takes a bite. <laughs> when my feelings aren't aren't hurt. Ah, that's a good one. You gotta answer some too. I know. I get angry when she doesn't answer me right away. Frustrated. When I feel frustrated, yeah. I feel angry when I feel distance from him like, and, and it just hurts me yeah yeah you can't have healing or make progress without it you have an argument don't go to bed without forgiving each other but we have always forgiven each other and it's most important to give that grace and mercy that God gives us. <laughs> it, it helps you continue because um, if something lingers, it just, it's not good. I think it's important because it kind of helps us uh, understand that we're still united under God and we both love each other. And that's why we decided to get married and be united in Christ. So it, it's really helpful whenever we argue. So. Yeah. And definitely because no one is perfect and Christ has taught us to forgive. That's the only way that we will be able to get through life, forgiving and sharing love and grace. It allows us to love beyond the person's faults. And it's what we're commanded to do. God forgave us and we should be forgiving one another. Colossians 3.13. Make allowance for each other's faults. And forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you. So you must forgive others. Sweet. Happy. 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 <laughs> Peaceful. Yep. Total love. Forgiveness. Peaceful. 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 A lot of happiness. It radiates with harmony and support. Lots of patience. Perfect. It would be perfect. With grace, more grace, never ends.